Dave, thank you. All new today, Governor Paul is signing a piece of one of his key agenda items into law, but not without a legislative fight first. Fox 31 political reporter Gabrielle Franklin joining us now with more on the bill and where the rest of the governor's housing package stands. Gabrielle. Jeremy, Governor Polis signed the first of several housing measures that he wants to see passed this year. But some of the other bills in his plan may face a tougher battle crossing the finish line. It's official, congratulations. 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 Governor Polis and community members from across Colorado celebrated a newly signed law prohibiting local governments from enforcing residential occupancy limits, lifting limits that students and communities of color have long said are discriminatory. What you see behind me are folks representing the disability community, people of color, young people, people who have low incomes. This is a bill that's important to all of these groups and more. The law is a piece of the governor's housing plan that ran into some major obstacles last year and failed to make it to his desk. The House debated two other key bills in the plan this weekend, a bill clearing the way for more construction of ADUs got bipartisan support, but another got some pushback from Democrats and Republicans alike. There's too much good in this bill for me to just vote it down today. It kills me. I'm I guess I'm going to hold my nose and hope and have a little, what faith I have left that it'll go over to the Senate. I think there will be Senate amendments, but by God, if this comes back with these same provisions in it, not only will I vote against it, I will use every ounce of energy I have to defeat this bill. A bill calling on localities to follow state housing density plans around transit passed the House Sunday, but not without several Democrats expressing their concerns. Some saying the bill is an infringement on local control, Others saying the solution presented in the bill may not make sense for certain cities. We asked Governor Polis about the concerns. He says he's open to solutions as long as they make sense. Every bill can always be made better. And so, I mean, the more that we can deliver housing that people can afford, reduce housing costs, remove some of these artificial constraints on supply. I mean, it can take builders in some areas two years to go through the regulatory hurdles and costs and tap fees. And if we can cut that time and cost, cut bureaucratic red tape, deliver the house quicker and sooner, uh, that means a lower cost house for a Coloradan. So the measures that passed out of the House this weekend now head over to the state Senate. Governor Polis says that he's confident that all of these proposals will help get more housing built across the state. We'll be watching, but for now we're live outside the state capitol. Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31. All right, Gabrielle, thank you. Also from